Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to another video, my name is Mina and welcome to Mystic Art channel. I am a professional manga teacher and one of my personal favorite things to do in my spare time is to check out some of the uh, maybe less known YouTubers in the art field and try to set up a collab with them, especially with somebody who is as talented and hardworking as C. Uh, please make sure to check out her channel and the two of us have arranged a collab where we will be switching uh, and exchanging our line arts of our very own original characters and uh, the characters I will be drawing today are my very own hex from my personal manga project uh, Albino Circus and uh, T's original character named Kazuko, uh, which is a specialized, I don't know, kind of a uh, warrior w specializing in uh, swords and uh, blades. So this is why he holds his blades between his fingers in a very powerful manner. And he has this amazing design with this long white trench coat and uh, he's a very handsome guy, so I wanted to represent him in the heat of the battle with Hex standing behind him, uh, ready to, I don't know, duel or just taunting his enemy with his knives and being like all smug and all super powered. So I wanted to do a very heavy and shonen like uh, line art with a lot of black areas to maybe show these guys as just um, two rambunctious fellows uh, picking a fight at the local bar or something like that. Um, since Hex is in the background, I used slightly thinner lines to draw him and make him look a little bit more uh, maybe um, delicate looking, but still ready to fight, still like um, ready to, I don't know, bring some hell into the room. And of course, um, I made the T's character stand up more because he is more of a um, like masculine character and I'm sure he would definitely kick more butt than Hex would. As for the process of making a line art as I have shown you in my previous videos, uh, there's a lot more to line art by uh, just drawing some lines. There are uh, different line thicknesses and black areas for shading and thinner lines for smaller details. So it's a very complicated job. It's not just tracing over the initial sketch. It's way more as you can see. And there's a lot of tiny crevices and little triangles where I place my um, miniature manga style shading before I even apply color. So that's a little bit of a tip from me today. And this is pretty much the design I have sent to T to make her color it. And she did the same for me which you can see right here and I printed this I retouched the line art a little bit and I was delighted by the fact that she drew hex in such a handsome manner but also throwing all of these cards in the air and uh, this was a perfect opportunity for me to actually draw out the details on top of the cards so every card has its own character on it and all of these characters are my supporting characters in the albino circus project maybe one day if i get enough um, views and subscribers and interest into my manga project maybe one day i will tr turn this into a full-fledged manga so you guys can leave me a comment about this and if you would like to see more of these characters i will be leaving a link to my gallery about uh, these characters in the description and also stick till the end of this video to find the link for T's video about her coloring my line art and don't forget to subscribe to her channel she is so talented and uh, she's one of rare uh, traditional artists who do manga on YouTube and she does an amazing job I'm so proud 
uh, of how young she is and yet how great her art looks. But back on the character, so I decided to draw out each character from my concept and my story on each of the cards. I even made a small albino circus kind of a back of a card which is right behind both of the characters and I made even like uh, the main cards in two different um, symbols from from the card world I really don't know how it's called in English so please forgive me and I actually did something to uh, something different in my coloring uh, which I don't usually do in my own work and that's avoiding black surfaces. The only black surfaces I placed uh, on C's uh, line art was the one in Hex's sleeve and one beneath Hex's robe and that's it. Um, I'm not using, I'm not even gonna use like black Copic or something. I'm just using a very dark gray for the uh, darkest color. I wanted to keep the entire drawing light and uh, almost bubbly. Um, not really pastel, but definitely with bright colors and bright blue sky behind them and bright red jacket on Hex, etc. And I was so proud how this has turned up the, just the, the line art was such an amazing start and it instantly inspired me to continue drawing uh, on top of it and just playing with it and thank you so much C for making this amazing art piece and I also had to add some details inside of Hex's buttons because it's my professional deformation I'm a fashion designer and I just had to like add some stitches and fashion details and uh, just not a lot of people do this because you need to study fashion for years to remember all of these parts in the clothing where the pockets are where the seams are so it's a lot of de details but they have entered my mind and my hand after so many fashion designs that I just can't resist drawing these details on a drawing and I hope you don't mind as well as shading the clothes in such a way that it's a simple shading but it's effective and every shadow is represented in its proper spot it's just something that you learn as a fashion designer and it takes a lot of observation a lot of looking at photos in magazines a lot of just still life and looking from real people taking photos taking references and trying to learn from that so if you don't know how to draw or shade clothes after your first try please don't get bummed out because it's something that takes years to learn and it's after a while uh, after you get the hang of it by observing people and uh, just looking at fashion photos and magazines for reference you will get the hang of it and it will be very easy from then on you just need to find a lot of references and you need to create your own mental catalog of details on clothing and how the clothing fits on a body how how the shapes go and how the shading is positioned and of course, one of my least favorite parts in a drawing is definitely drawing the background. The background traditionally is a big pain in the neck, um, especially if it's just one solid color. So I made the blue color to contrast the red in Hex's coat and I made it a little bit squiggly, a little bit um, edgy and just not that... Uh, full of color you see there are like lighter patches and ragged edges and I did it on purpose just to make these guys look more like a shonen kind of a comic book character and manga character so I hope you guys like what I did with this and of course white jelly roll for the rescue to just make stuff pop out and go in the right direction I hope you guys like what I made 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to learn how to draw manga, check out my book Manga Crash Course available in English, French, Serbian and Chinese.